Hey what's up everybody my name is Awais and I welcome you to another video of Java Essential Training Series. So this video is going to be about Java operators. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe now and if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let's talk about Java operators now. I've already used a number of Java operators in my examples but I'll take a moment now to go through them in details. Java syntax is based on C, it's a C style language. So it uses most of the same operators you will find in most C style languages including C, C++, C Sharp, JavaScript and so on. There are various types of operators. The equality operators are used to compare values to each other, assignment operators do exactly what it says, assign values, and there are mathematical operators and logical operators. Here are some of the most common assignment and math operators. When you declare a variable in Java, you always start with the data type followed by the name of the variable, but you don't have to immediately assign a value. The default value will depend on whether the variable is a primitive or an object. But if you want to assign a value, you use the single is equal to character as an assignment operator. The data type and a variable name go to the left and the value on the right. This would be a simple assignment, but you can also execute a mathematical operators as you assign a value. These would be expressions that evaluate to the correct data type. The plus operator is for addition. The subtraction operator is for subtraction and the asterisk for multiplication and forward slash for division. There are also a percentage character, which is a remainder operator, also known as in some language as a modulus operator. Here are some things you can do with assignment and mathematical operations. I'm starting with the integer value of 10. You can increment and decrement that value with the A++ or A-, and that operator can go either before or after the variable name. I'll talk about the effect of that in, that in just a moment. You can also increment or decrement and assign values at the same time using these operators plus is equal to means assign the value and execute the math operation. Minus is equal to does the same for subtraction and also for asterisk is equal to and forward slash is equal to. Now about placing the increment and decrement operators before or after a variable name. Once again, I'm starting with the integer value of 10. If you place the plus plus operator after the variable name, that's called a post fix assignment you are evaluating the value and then executing the math. In this example, I would be outputting a value of 10 but then resetting the value to 11. If you move the operator before the variable name, that's called a prefix. Then you are executing the math and then evaluating the value and then your output and your new value would be the same. The equality operator are used to compare values to each other. The double equal sign operator is called equality operator. With primitive values, it compares the actual values with the reference variables. That is a variable that points to object. You are comparing whether the two variables are pointing to the same object, not necessarily whether they have the same value. The inequality operator, some Java developer calls that exclamation mark, the bang operator, but again, the simply means not equal to and it has the same rules as the equality operators. Primitive variables are evaluated by their values and reference variables by whether they point to the same object. In addition to is double equal sign and not equal to, you also have a greater than and less than or less than equal to or greater than equal to and a special operator called instruct C of. That's asked whether the object is an instance of a particular class so for example, if I have a string and I have a condition of s instance of java.lang.string, that's a fully qualified name of that class, then my condition would be true. If I would say yes, this variable is a string, once the exemption to compare values with the string, string cannot be safely compared to each other using the equal operators. It will work in some circumstances and not others. I will describe the details of that later in this course. If you want to compare strings to each other, you shouldn't use the equal to or not equal to operator. Instead, you should use the string classes equal to method. 
There is one version of this method that's a case sensitive. This one and another version that compares values without case sensitivity. And again, I will describe those details in later videos. The result of the code would be the match. And finally, there are logical operators. The two ampersand is an AND operator. The two pipe characters is the R character. And you could use those to combine two conditional expressions and get a result. And then there is a ternary operator that looks like this. You examine a boolean condition and then after a question mark, you set a value you want to assign. If the condition is true and after the colon, a value you want to assign if the condition is false. This is a shorthand for an if then conditional statement. Some developers love using these expressions. I tend to avoid it. I tend to use a more verbose if then statement because I think it's easier to read and maintain later on. But this expression absolutely works and is very popular in Java programming world. So that's a summary of the most common use operators in Java. There are a few other include operators known as bitwise operators, but they are used less commonly. And I encourage you to look at the Java documentation for a complete look at all operators that are available in Java programming. Alright guys, thanks for watching. That was a quick tutorial about Java operators. I hope you like this video and if you do, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.